August 1st, 2007. The date is forever etched in the heart and mind of a local mother. It was the last day that she saw her son alive. 15 years later, she needs your help to find his killer. Eyewitness News anchor Joe Holden has the Eric Woods story. It was a sweltering summer night and Eric Woods was leaving to play basketball. His favorite thing was basketball and he loved people. Out the door of his South Philadelphia home he went. Monique Irvis remembers that final conversation. I felt bad because I fussed at him before he left because I was like, don't forget to come back here and put the trash out. So he was like, all right, mom. You know. And that was the last time Monique Irvis saw her 19-year-old son alive. That was August 1st, 2007. Eric was shot and killed walking home from that basketball game. It's like 15 years of pain, 15 years of anger. Philadelphia police have had a difficult time making headway with the investigation. There's no surveillance video. The shooting happened near the intersection of Springfield and Divinity in southwest Philadelphia. The area was dimly lit. Investigators on Wednesday told CBS Three Mysteries the shooter mistook Eric Woods for somebody else. Plainly, they shot the wrong guy. I'm very angry. I, I've been trying to say I'm not angry. I don't know. But. It does. It just angers me. It's been too long. It's been too long. Monique Irvis is angry. The passage of time has done little to heal deep wounds. She takes us back to the night her son lay dying in a hospital bed. She tells me doctors would not allow her to say goodbye. Monique Irvis remembers a doctor approaching her. I could see him walking to me, and all I knew was he must have said, you know, he's not here anymore or whatever. But I blacked out and I ran out and um, it was just black and I just fell to the ground outside. She says her attempts to say one last goodbye were dismissed. It's the worst feeling to not be able to see your child, especially after something that tragic. Monique Irvis is frustrated with the Philadelphia Police Department and what she describes a lack of compassion. Do they understand that the pain never goes away? Do they understand the anger never goes away? The hurt. There's so many things that don't go away. You're not okay? No. There are two days each year Monique braces for. August 1st, the anniversary of her son's death and Christmas, Eric's birthday. He would have been 34 this year. Do you have hope that someone can come through for you and your family? I'm trying to have hope, but I don't have any. Like, I don't have any hope in the system. Do you have information on the homicide case of Eric Woods? Call 215-686-TIPS. There is a reward. For CBS3 Mysteries, this is Joe Holden.